If you happen to follow me on Instagram, I recently asked in a story if I should get jellyfish. Well, the response was a resounding yes. Make sure you visit freshwaterscrub.com and use the code jellyfish for 10% off your orders. Let's get into this research. How is that even possible? Like I just clicked order. This right here is a two and a half gallon nano jellyfish tank, and we're gonna set this thing up today. It is an all-in-one kit that comes with three small moon jellies that we can order once this thing is fully cycled. This is our filter media. It's a basic sponge material that will hold our beneficial bacteria because salt water works the same as fresh water and we'll need a nitrifying bacteria source. The kit came with some items that we may or may not use. We're gonna go ahead and drop this filtration media packet in here. And now, well, we're ready to put some water in here. So if you buy one of these things, it's actually going to tell you how to mix salt water. I'm not doing that. I bought salt water. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in here. So let's get that done. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, there we have it. We have one fully functional jellyfish aquarium. And now it is just a matter of waiting for this cycle to complete. In just short amounts of weeks away, we are gonna have jellyfish in this aquarium right here. In just a matter of weeks. We'll see you guys back here in about six weeks when this thing is cycled and we order our jellyfish. Four to six weeks later. My gosh, do you know what this is? I know what this is. This right here is some seashells. I, I, I shipped these back from Florida the last time I was there. I'm kidding. There are seashells in here. Do you see these? These are seashells for something specific. And what that specific is, which is the craziest thing we've ever bought in our entire lives, are two blue-legged hermit crabs. Do you see those? Two little tiny blue-legged hermit crabs. That's right. Actually, I'm kidding. These are our cleanup crew, guys. These are going into this jellyfish tank. So we're gonna start with this, as well as, oh my goodness, do you see this? This is insane, guys. Let's go ahead and get that out of here and take a look what is in this bag. I cannot believe these came in today. So greatly wrapped, there's nothing in there. That's empty. That bag is full on empty. Look at that. Do you see anything in there? I don't see anything in, oh, oh. We have in our possession, ladies and gentlemen, three very beautiful, translucent, almost clear jellyfish that we're gonna be putting into this jellyfish tank today. So let's go ahead and get these guys open so we can get them acclimated. And honestly, acclimating jellyfish is just like acclimating any other type of fish. Get this outer bag off. See if we can see these jellies a little better. Oh, we can. Look at that. Can you see those in there? Maybe, kind of. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely amazing. So what we're gonna do here is put these into this bigger bag. We got all three of them in here. So what we're gonna do to acclimate these guys is pour out about half of this water and then go ahead and start replacing it with our tank water. So what we'll do is just like anything, we're gonna float acclimate these things to start with just so they can go ahead and get used to the temperature. Once we have them acclimated to the temperature, we're gonna come back and actually acclimate them to the water parameters. But what we wanna do 
while these guys are acclimating, let's go ahead and test this water because we want to make sure that this water is good to go. Now, of course, we're going to use one of our favorite products from API. This is actually a saltwater master test kit, which we haven't had to use yet because, well, we haven't had salt water until today. So one of the things I also want to do is go ahead and temperature acclimate these little blue legged hermit crabs. We'll put those in there as well. These guys should be fully temperature acclimated at this point. So we're going to wait for this test here to finish up before we start actually putting water in this bag because if there's something wrong with this water, we do not want to kill these jellyfish. These little blue legged hermit crabs are going to be the first to go in. Look at how tiny these little hermit crabs are. Absolutely amazing. Look at how small they are. These are definitely not the hermit crabs you get in your local pet stores. So we're just gonna drop those guys in there. And what those will be is our little cleanup crew. Now as a part of that, what we need to do, because they are shell dwellers, we wanna give them some larger shells to switch into if they ever need to. So that's why we have these extra shells. Those guys will keep the bottom of this tank fully cleaned out. I did talk to the jellyfish expert at the company that I got this from, and they said that these blue-legged hermit crabs are perfect cleanup crew for this nano aquarium. Now, we have our jellyfish. They've been temperature acclimated. What we wanna do now is start getting some of this system water or some of this tank water in here. We're gonna drop these guys all the way down and just pull some of that water from the tank in there and just let those guys sit and we will come back and do this over and over for the next 10 or 15 minutes. Alright guys, well these things have been fully acclimated, so it is now time to get them into this tank. <laughs> Alright guys. This tank is absolutely epic. I cannot believe we have freaking jellyfish. Such a, do you see that thing? Look at that. That is amazing. guys i mean come on you have to admit jellyfish they are pretty epic right so we have three moon jellyfish we have two little blue legged hermit crabs and i'm gonna need names for all of them because i'm infatuated with this tank this is by far my favorite tank to sit and watch i've had this tank set up for a couple of weeks now i just have not been able to put out the video because if you notice i'm a little stuffy and that's because well I got into a fight with uh, COVID-19 stupid cousin Omicron and I spent days in bed with a 103 degree fever and I finally got over it. I am finally healed. I'm no longer contagious and I'm able to actually sit up and edit videos that I have filmed for days. And yeah, so I'm back to normal and I apologize for not putting a video out for the last 12 days, but I've been really sick. So thanks for the patience guys. And I have another video coming out very soon in the next couple of days of how we care for these moon jellies. And we're gonna do a live feeding in that video and things of that nature. I'm also going to be putting out some updates on our baby vampire crabs. Like those things have grown tremendously since the last update. So stay tuned for that. So if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications notification bell follow us on instagram and use the code jellyfish at freshwaterscrub.com for 10 percent off all of your purchases 
at freshwaterscrub.com. Well, with that, guys, thank you so very much. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. If you celebrate Christmas, a great Merry Christmas. And hopefully you got a bunch of presents if you do that kind of thing. And with that, guys, hey, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to be healthy. I'm grateful to be here. So thank you so very much, and we'll see you next time.